Planning a trip to Southeast Asia? The intoxicating aromas, the vibrant cultures, the chaotic beauty, it's enough to make you forget your street smarts. But trust me, amidst the sensory overload, there are sharks in these waters. Want to know about the biggest tourist scams and how to avoid them? Let's dive into the top 30 scams you might encounter in Southeast Asia. I also put together a free resource to protect you while traveling. It's available later on in this video. Renting a motorbike? Feels like freedom, right? Wind in your hair, sun on your face, until some shyster slaps you with a bill for damage you didn't cause. Before you even turn that key, walk around the bike, photograph everything. Scratches, dents, the whole shebang. Over the course of my travels, I had to pay for scooter repairs on four different occasions. I even ended up on the pavement in the Philippines because my scooter malfunctioned and threw me off. It had pre-existing problems. So, always use reputable rental places, not some guy on the street. It's common to see this in Thailand, Vietnam, Philippines, and Bali. Southeast Asia's got its share of fake cops. They'll pull you over, flash a badge, and demand an on-the-spot cash fine for some bogus violation. Real police? No. Real cops will escort you to the station for payment or direct you to pay the fine in an official police station. Don't be intimidated, know your rights. This sort of thing is common throughout. Vietnam, Thailand, Japan, and Indonesia. Look, you're excited to be here, I get it. But don't let that excitement make you a sucker. Plenty of shady characters are ready to exploit that wide-eyed naivety. Visa scams are rampant. Stick to official websites, and if you're using an agent, make damn sure they're legit. Do your homework. The biggest visa scams are rampant on Facebook and promise to get your visa at a discount. If the price is ridiculously cheap, then that is a huge red flag. Many people have fallen victim when trying to get their Bali visa. For my visa, I used an official website called Bali.com, which connected me to real lawyers who would sponsor me. Exchanging money is a necessary evil when you're on the road, but watch your back. Some places offer rates that seem too good to be true, and they usually are. Stick to reputable banks or online services like WISE.com. With WISE, I was able to exchange online in seconds at a competitive rate to any local currency in any country. I never had to use a currency exchange for the entire year I was in Southeast Asia. Don't get ripped off before you even have a chance to enjoy yourself. Nothing beats a cold beer after a long day exploring, but even a simple drink can turn into a headache. Some bars, especially in tourist hotspots, are notorious for inflated prices and hidden charges. Always, and I mean always, check for a menu with prices before you even think about ordering. Look, I get it. You're in a new place feeling adventurous, maybe a little lonely. But trust me, the last souvenir you want to take home is a broken heart and an empty bank account. Don't move too fast. Don't fall for sob stories. And for God's sake, don't send money to someone you barely know, no matter how convincing they seem. These scams are common in Japan and the Philippines. They will try to pull at your heartstrings with some family crises, and a large amount of money is their only hope. train travel in Southeast Asia. It's a chaotic, beautiful mess. But before you board that rickety train to adventure, make sure your ticket's the real deal. Skip the shady online vendors and stick to official transport websites, even if it means paying a little extra. You'll see this in Japan often. Remember kids, getting stranded in some remote village is a lot less romantic than it sounds.
Okay, tea ceremonies, very zen. But even tranquility has its price. Some places, let's just say, they see tourists as walking ATMs. Tourist areas, especially in Tokyo, are notorious for this. Individuals may approach you offering to take you to a traditional tea ceremony, which ends up being expensive or involves high pressure sales techniques. So find a reputable tea house and do your research. Otherwise, that spiritual experience might leave you feeling spiritually bankrupt. Southeast Asia's trains, a throbbing artery of life, can also be a hunting ground for the less scrupulous. Stay vigilant, especially in packed carriages. If possible, opt for women-only sections. For instance, Japan has women-only trains during peak hours. Remember, the most valuable thing you carry is your safety. Don't be afraid to make a scene if someone's getting handsy. It's better to be loud than sorry. Even the law can be a bit crooked in these parts, a little under the table action to smooth things over. It didn't happen to me personally, but some of my travel companions did have some fun with this one in Bali. Know the local traffic laws and don't give cops any excuse. Driving without a helmet or shirt or blatantly breaking driving laws will paint a big red bullseye on your back. If it happens, keep your cool and call your local rental company. They'll be better able to handle it. Or politely request to handle fines at the station. Worst case, just give them a little money and say, this is all I have, and go on your way. Don't ever hand over your passport. Usually, they just want a little hand out of something and will be on their way. On A free tour? Nothing's truly free, especially here. These friendly locals offering to show you around often have hidden agendas, inflated prices at specific shops, commissions from vendors, stick to officially sanctioned guides, or you might find yourself paying a hefty price for that free experience. Listen up, kids. Ever get lured in by the siren song of a local guide promising an off-the-beaten-path waterfall experience? These guys, they're like mosquitoes at a picnic. They'll drain your wallet faster than you can say, hidden paradise. Stick to the official tourist sites, find a guide inside, and you'll be swimming in clear waters, not murky scams. Finding a decent place to sleep shouldn't feel like a game of Russian roulette. I've seen some real crap holes that cockroaches wouldn't stay at. It's not uncommon to see beautiful places for rent online, only to find out later when you arrive that dream rental does not exist. This happens way more often than you would think, or they do exist, but look nothing like the photos. In my experience, Facebook Marketplace and Facebook groups are a real gamble. Airbnb super hosts have been very reliable for me. Whenever possible, don't pay the entire bill up front. And if it is a long-term rental, make sure to see it in person before putting down money. Make sure they have a good cancellation policy. Stick to reputable booking platforms, read the reviews, and don't be afraid to walk away if the lobby smells like old socks and regret. Ah, the Tuk Tuk, the chariot of Southeast Asia. But even this humble ride can turn into a financial black hole if you're not careful. Before you hop in, agree on a price, especially in Thailand and Cambodia. And if your driver starts suggesting unmissable detours to his cousin Silk shop, tell him to stick to the route. Your wallet will thank you for it. You're in a tuk-tuk, maybe a little hungover, and suddenly your driver's cousin's best friend is practically begging you to visit his gem shop. Don't fall for it. This is a classic setup, common in Thailand and Myanmar. Stick to certified dealers if you're looking for souvenirs of the sparkly kind. Otherwise, you'll be going home with a lighter wallet and a stone that's about as authentic 
as a $5 Rolex. Ever get that sinking feeling when you reach your destination and the taxi fare is suddenly double what you agreed on? Yeah, not a good feeling. I saw this a few times in the Philippines. Some places still don't use Uber or similar apps and still rely on the old taxi meter. A lot of them don't even use meters. Avoid this headache by using metered taxis or ride-sharing apps whenever possible. And if you have to negotiate a fare, do it before you get in the damn car, not when you arrive. That once-in-a-lifetime deal on Angkor Wat tickets? It might just be a one-way ticket to disappointment. Fake tickets and tours are rampant, so always double-check authenticity. Use official websites or reputable travel agencies. Trust me, the real experience is worth a few extra bucks. You're hot, tired, and just handed over a bill for your street meat satay. Suddenly the vendor claims he can't break your large bill. He'll offer you something extra, some wilted cilantro, a warm soda. Don't fall for it. Carry small bills and exact change whenever possible. I saw this often in places like Vietnam, Indonesia, and the Philippines. I learned the hard way. In the labyrinth markets of Southeast Asia, a fistful of small bills is more valuable than gold. In Thailand, Cambodia, and Japan, you'll encounter monks, genuine and otherwise, throughout your travels. It's important to remember, actual monks don't solicit donations. They won't approach you for money, blessings, or trinkets. These faux holy men prey on your good intentions. A genuine monk seeks enlightenment, not your spare change. If you want to give, do so at a temple, not on the street. A foot massage after a long day trekking Angkor Wat, tempting sure, but be wary of places that offer extras in Thailand and Vietnam. Establish clear boundaries and agree on the services and price before you indulge. Some establishments operate as fronts for less than savory activities. Do your research, choose reputable places, and remember, a legitimate massage shouldn't require negotiation. You're jet lagged, hungry, and all you want is to get some local currency. But watch your back at those ATMs. In Malaysia and Thailand, skimming devices are a sneaky way to steal your car details. They are external hardware plates placed over regular ATMs to extract card info. Stick to ATMs in well-lit, secure locations, ideally inside banks. And for God's sake, cover the keypad when you enter your PIN. Trust me, you don't want to be dealing with a drained bank account halfway through your trip. That street food stall might look tempting, but make sure there's a price list visible. Tourist traps love to inflate prices for unsuspecting travelers. Common in Vietnam, Malaysia, and Japan. Don't be afraid to ask how much something costs before you order. It's better to be safe than sorry, especially when your stomach is rumbling. Whether you're at a swanky rooftop bar or a beachside shack, keep a close eye on your drinks. The last thing you need is a spiked cocktail ruining your trip. Watch the bartender make your drink and never leave it unattended. Remember, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, especially in a foreign country. It is common in Thailand and the Philippines. You're in a new city, vibrant, alive. You're caught up in the moment, snapping photos, soaking it all in. Easy prey. These guys are pros. They see that glazed over tourist look a mile away. Keep your wits about you, a secure wallet, maybe a money belt. Don't make yourself an easy target.
the allure of the open water, wind in your hair, sun on your face. But that freedom can come with a hefty price tag if you're not careful. Before you hop on that jet ski, take a good look, document any existing damage. Trust me, you don't want to end up paying for someone else's joyride. This is similar to the scooters and surfboards scenario. One of the most heart-wrenching cons is the fake charity scam. In bustling markets or serene temples, you might encounter individuals asking for donations to help the needy. They often have convincing stories and even official looking documents. But be wary, many times these donations never reach those in need. Instead, they line the pockets of scammers. Always research before giving. Real charities have verifiable credentials and transparent practices. Your generosity should truly help, not harm. When traveling, it's tempting to bring back a piece of your journey in the form of a souvenir. However, be cautious of overpriced souvenirs. In popular tourist areas, vendors often inflate prices, taking advantage of unsuspecting travelers. What looks like a unique, handcrafted item might actually be mass produced and available for a fraction of the cost elsewhere. Always compare prices, haggle respectfully, and if possible, buy directly from artisans. This ensures you're getting a fair deal and supporting local craftsmanship. As more travelers rely on the internet to secure their accommodation, fake hotel booking sites have become a common scam. These fraudulent websites mimic legitimate booking platforms, offering enticing deals and discounts. Once you make a reservation and provide payment details, scammers disappear, leaving you without a booking and out of pocket. To avoid this, always ensure the website is genuine by checking for secure connections, reading reviews, and booking through reputable platforms. Be wary of deals that seem too good to be true, and when in doubt, contact the hotel directly to confirm your reservation. Street gambling scams are a common trick used to lure unsuspecting tourists. These scams often involve a simple game that appears easy to win, such as a shell game or three card Monty. The scammer, along with accomplices posing as players, creates an illusion of fairness and easy winnings. However, the game is rigged and the chances of winning are virtually non-existent. To avoid falling for this scam, steer clear of street gambling altogether. Remember, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Fake travel agents are another common scam targeting travelers. These imposters often set up shop in busy tourist areas, offering unbeatable deals on tours, accommodations, and transportation. They may even have official looking documents and websites to lure you in. But once you've paid, you realize too late that the services you were promised don't exist. To protect yourself, always book through reputable agencies and verify credentials before making any payments. A little research can go a long way in ensuring your travel plans are legitimate. Southeast Asia, a tapestry of cultures, flavors, and experiences. But like any place else, there are shadows lurking in the corners. Stay sharp, keep your eyes open, and don't let these hustlers spoil your trip. Enjoy the chaos, the beauty, the unknown, but remember, knowledge is your best defense. I have put together a free travel resource that you can download in the description of this video. It gives you handy info and travel secrets that every traveler should have. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.